So I got this Vusu PWM. It's uh, 60 amps. Uh, 60 amps. Uh, pulse width modular modulation. Uh, and there should be a control thing in here. So I'm going to uh, take it out. And uh, I think it's Barry in here. So I'm going to uh, unscrew these four screws and try to take that control knob out so I can do the PWM for you guys. Okay, so let's uh, check it out. I'm going to unscrew these four screws and take out the cover and get to the knob. Ta -ta. There is the knob that I inside this thing. So, I'm going to... There we go. There we go. I can hear a click. I think that's close. So that's what so that's what I'm gonna do. Going to connect this to the motor and um check this thing out and um, as you can see there's a battery plus battery minus and then this is modular minus a uh, motor minus motor plus that's what I think they what they uh, the B that's what the that's what I think the B stand for what the B stand for you know, so that's what uh, we're going to be doing. Okay, so we're going to connect these two to the motor, trolling motor, and these two to the battery, and then see what happened there. Okay, beautiful. I did it. I did it. Listen, look. All right, so this is my PWM. And um, what I did was I connected a, this negative from the PWM terminal to my shunt negative. And this white piece is going to the fourth slot of this uh, meter. And the green one, well, uh, the third slot of the meter, amperage meter, will come to the... Um, third button and the fourth button of shunt connects to this metal piece and this metal piece connects back to this uh, green and brownish uh, wire which feeds into the second slot here and then lastly well and then the other end of this metal piece connects to the negative terminal here the green wire in the first slot will come out all the way loop around to the positive here and then the positive terminal from the battery I connect to this PWM positive terminal and the negative the positive for the motor out of the PWM is connected to this trolling motor clamp and the negative out of the PWM M for the motor is connected uh, to this negative clamp which feeds in back into the motor and that's the setup and as you can see I'm gonna turn the uh, motor now now join 0.25 volts 0.53 amps sorry I'm uh, first gear. Um, what I'm going to do is, and I'm drawing the point A. First gear, without this PWM, the amperage should go all the way from zero to six amps, all of a sudden, okay? But now, because of this PWM, I can adjust the amperage. Instead of going all the way to six, I can it so that it's only go up to the point four six, you know. Um, 
Point A6, two amps, you know, see that, see that? Now it's uh, all the way to the uh, first gear, which is the 6.26. And I can turn it back, turn it down, turn it down, four amps. You can see the amps, amperage uh, keeps dropping. And now it's stable at one amps, you know. And I can keep my motor running at one amps with this VWM controller. See that? See that? It's only, uh, see the motor is turning? Combining the two things, I can show you clearly that the amperage is actually um, uh, you know, infinity. I can get the um, gears between zero and one. Now I'm going uh, uh, to set the trolling motor speed to the fifth. Alright, and let's do that. Okay, here we go. Here's the click. Now let's turn this all the way up to the fifth see that's the fifth power all right so watch as i turn the knob here you go it's 0.4 amp it's one amps 2.4 amps 3.1 3.2 amps 3.18 amps now it's four amps uh five amps 6.5 amps, 7 amps, 7.3 amps, you know, 7.25, 7271. Let's crank up the motor. Now it's up to 11 amps. It's drawing 11 amps, as you can see. Now it's drawing 11 amps. 11 amps. Let's crank up the motor to the maximum. Now it's drawing 14.2 four, drawing amps. 14.5, 14.79, 14 14.9, 15 amps, 15 amps, and uh, it's stabilized at 15 amps, you know, so 15 amps, you can hear my motor is uh, kicking the water big time, so that's the 15, going down to 14.3 amps, 14.8, 14.89, 15 amps, so let me turn down the dial to, uh, change the amperage to something slower. So that's 8.5. You see? Now it's 4.8. And you can make it, make it small. 2.1. 1.6 amps. You see the motor? 1.6 amps. 1.72. 1.75. 2.73. You know, I'm cranking up the motor again. You know, so now I can do a con totally, um, totally, uh, see that 0 0.8, 0 0.4 amps, you know, 0.35. The motor is barely kicking the water, you know, and that's a 0 0.35 amps, you know. So that's the demonstration I want to show you here. And you can see the watts. Uh, it's drawing 4.4 watts, 7.6 watts. You know, this thing is really cool. I'm going to, um... Um, rewire these things and um, put it in the con uh, into a uh, fixed uh, portable uh, thing with me and protected it from water you know rain whatever so this is when I go um, trolling my motor and I'm going to do the 24 volts in a second that's my next video okay for you guys but anyway so this is it um, job well done all right here we go that's uh, 12 point uh, down to 12.4 votes. All right, so that's the setup I have to combining the uh, PWM, which gives me the variable uh, trolling motor speed, and also with a multimeter, so I can not only measure the voltage and the current, but also the watts. You know, how many watts I use so I can, you know, uh, totally have a total control and monitor, uh, status monitor of my battery to make sure I don't run out of the battery, you know. So that's the setup here. So, uh, take a break now. so subscribe to my next video because I'm going to put in um, two batteries connected in series. 
so that it's 24 votes or 25 instead of the 12.48 votes okay so 25 votes and also I'm gonna change this trolling motor to the 70 pounds this is the 30 pounds Minkota Indura C2 Minkota Indura C2 30 pounds only so I'm gonna switch this to a um, 70 pounds trolling motor is full control and also I'm going to have two batteries connected. So that's my next video.